we're back at EBN Speaks, and damn it, we got a whole 4KT NLE OTF 300 GBE beef. But hopefully, it doesn't turn into a shot of flow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Emily Chopra, aka Bryson Chakra, as well as Lori speaking on NBA Youngboy. Now, I'm not glad to you. It is all out war now. Damn. Like, Youngboy finally spoke out in the situation. He's alluded to his, his, his opinions on the situation with him and Lil Dirk OTF versus, versus uh, Full KT. But damn it, now he kind of just he kind of just started the war. The war was already was already in it. But now he full on just said, "Yo, f the industry, f all y'all. I want smoke. I want smoke." Lil Durk is a top three rapper in the game right now in terms of popularity and you know probably sales too. I'm, I'm jacking. He's probably gonna sell around with Gunna sold 144 thousand copies first week. You understand? But Lil Durk. Is out here basically having the whole industry wrapped around his damn finger. Young boy has the industry wrapped around his finger too, but he has the fans wrapped around his fingers. He doesn't necessarily have the rappers wrapped around his fingers, but young boy doesn't he doesn't say he need that. You know, so he can literally drop a whole project by himself, sell over a hundred thousand copies, which we see him do behind bars with no visuals. Like so, you know, what do you think? What do you think if he really takes it takes it seriously, drops a real serious project? And has promo, and he's outside, and he's shooting videos, and in, in, in his crib, and stuff like that. You know, what I'm saying dropping, dropping content, and whatnot, so forth. Young boy fans love the fact that he drops consistently, and he's able to to to, to provide them with entertainment because everyone gets bored. You listen to one song, it's two minutes long. You know, what I'm saying, damn it, now I'm bored again. Like I just heard two minutes of a song, now I'm bored. You know what I'm saying, but getting back to the damn topic at hand. Emily Choppa and Lil Reese are referring to the damn tweet that DJ Demi put out. That's why I had to give us a little bit of backstory because DJ Demi said, NBA Youngboy is on Demon Time right now in the damn song that he's, I guess, releasing on his mixtape coming out soon. He straight up disses Old Block and King Bond. Like this one, this one is, this one was, was overt. Like this one was in your face. Uh, everyone, every, every other diss, it was kind of subliminal, stuff like that. This one was in your grill. He said, homie, I'm talking about you. And yo block, yo squad, he's initiating war. It's all out war now. It's unfortunate. I'm not gonna lie. I hope that no shot of flows take place out of this damn situation because Italy Chopper, he wants smoke now too. But let's read Lil Reese's response to DJ Demons' tweet. You get DJ Demons put up NBA Young Boy on Demon Time right now, sheesh, and he's dropping a whole tape Friday. So is the whole tape gonna be a diss track? It's gonna be a whole diss tape. Now, me personally, I love diss tracks. I love diss tracks. But I don't think I like it here. This is not the situation where I like it here. Young boy is probably one of the most menacing individuals out in the game right now. OTF, probably some of the most menacing individuals coming out of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? They're coming from the rack. Even if they're not currently doing any type of criminal activity, they from the rack. Lil Dirk telling people to, uh, your man's dead and you ain't did. You ain't put no money on his head. You, you Whatever. So Lil Dirk's still on that timing too, no matter what the, that he's in the industry. He just knows, I guess maybe he got the burner phone, he got the tap phone. Yo, I got a 10K on his head. Get him lined. You know what I'm saying? And then he throw the phone out in the water. You never go find out that it was him. Maybe he on that type of timing. I have no idea. But we have Emily Chopper responding with Lil Reese as a quote tweet or or I think uh, Emily Chopper responded to Lil Reese. But Lil Reese said to uh, DJ Davis a damn tweet. That ain't no damn demon time. He's rapping like the rest of these rappers all rap. Now, Lil Reese trying to say, you not gangster? Come outside. You not going to hop on a flight, come to Atlanta or come to Chicago so you can openly die. You not going to do that. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. When gangsters tell you to come outside so they can kill you, it, it makes me confused. But at the same time, you know, both gang members are basically saying like, yo, bro, you, you coochie. I'm on your block. What's up? The other gang member like, yo, I'm on your block. What's up? Now we train videos. And hopefully, they, I, honestly, I, I, I'm jacking that in the back of the, uh, whatever both gang members' minds. They really hope that they don't see that person because as soon as you see that person, you know it's smoke. You know you got to put your gun out and now you got to defend your life. Like, it, it, it's like... You know for a fact, it's like, you know, when you see people on the streets, you know what I'm saying, you always got to be cautious and whatnot. But when you see, if anybody from Full KT sees anybody from OTF, you know when y'all see each other, it's smoke. Like, it's, it's, it's smoke off rip. Like, but at the same time, who knows when NBM boys get off house arrest. So who knows if this uh, will ever take place. And this is such a public beef that I hope no venue books Lil Dirk and NBM boy at the same time. Because guess what? 
smoke will ensue. Somebody gonna die. You know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna die. This is we just. I'm just keeping it a thousand. Like I'm trying to get people to understand the severity of the situation going on here. NBA young boy just incited war on the industry, not just on Old Block and King Vaughn and Lil Durk. He incited war in the industry because the whole industry is butt hugging Lil Durk right now. I'm not gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? And Lee Chopper is also cool with King Vaughn and Lil Durk. He used to like Young Boy. He has a whole song called Free Young Boy. His style in the beginning was kind of influenced by Young Boy. He kind of give off like he gave off a little young young boy type of thing type of energy kind of reckless and and you know he's, he's a little bit older now so he's matured and whatnot but i'm sure he's still got that recklessness in him he's from memphis too he's from the trenches as well everybody in the street from the trenches right now the, the, the street dude's taking over right now i ain't told you, you know what i'm saying the, the the trenches babies they waiting right now i ain't told you, you feel what i'm saying violence is number one in hip-hop at the current moment unfortunately you know what i'm saying but we have Emily chopper who now Emily chopper i will say he put out a song right you can even say kind of like the flow he used on beatbox and there's a couple other uh, uh, flows that he's been putting out recently kind of like a fast flow and there's even another song he dropped with probably within the last couple months that, that, that has like a faster type of flow now young boy kind of did i'm not gonna say took that flow because young boy has that flow in him but i can kind of see where enley chop is coming from if it's if enley chop is trying to insinuate that young boy it kind of stole his flow i'm not gonna go ahead and say young boy stole his flow because at the beginning when when, when enley chop was coming out really like 2018 2019 people were saying that he was stealing young boy's flow so at the end of the day like what are we really talking about like i right, cool tip for tat you know what I'm saying steal for steal Blow for blow, you know what I'm saying? Enley Chopper says, stamp that. Now, I don't know if he's trying to say that Enley Chopper or Enley Chopper trying to say that Young Boy is all cap and he not gangster or Enley or Emmy Young Boy is stealing his, his style or whatever, but damn, whatever he is insinuating, he's stamping what Lil Reese is saying. And I think Lil Reese is trying to say that Emmy Young Boy not gangster, he just rapping, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no demon time, he just rapping, he all cap. And then Enley Chopper out here saying that, yo, he all capped too. Like, damn, what is this y'all get into? You was over here talking about free young boy. Now you a young boy. Uh, man's no more. But you ain't been young boy. I, I think him and young boy ain't really been man's for a while. Because I don't even think young boy responded to the free young boy. I don't think he cared. Like, cause I, I just think I remember. Enley Chopper was looked at as like a little mini young boy for quite some time. You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't think either party liked it. You know what I'm saying? But Enley Chopper was, was giving his respects because he actually does enjoy young boy. I think young boy really is an influence for him. So it's clear. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he didn't have no beef. It was really just the fans putting him. And, you know, but young boy don't give a damn. Young boy wants to smoke with everybody. You know what I'm saying? He, he really EBK. Young boy was EBK before EBK started being a thing. Now you hear hip hop. EBK, EBK, EBK. Everybody dead. You know what I'm saying? I'm the everybody killer. You could be my mans. I'm robbing you. You know what I'm saying? You could be my man. You could be my my my, my grandpa. And them. It's over for your life if if you step on step on my shoes. You eat my honey nut Cheerios in the morning when I wanted to eat them. I might slit your throat. Like it's 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 crazy out here in the streets. Twenty, you know, what I'm saying whatever video time you you end up watching this, it's probably twenty something still. You feel what I'm saying? Like, damn, it's crazy out here. It's getting crunk, and I need the crunk activity to stop because, damn it, I want everybody to stay alive. You know what I'm saying? But it sounds like Lil Reese and them, they don't even believe what 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 Lil what NBA Young Boys really got going on. You know what I'm saying? But Emily Chopper saying that this man NBA Young Boy is all cap, is rap cap. He just putting out songs because he in Utah knowing he's safe. I ain't say it. That's what they said. That's what they said. All I hope is that it don't turn into a shot of flow number seven. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taylor L. Jazz. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to EBA Music Media. Turn on the post notification bell so you know every time we drop a new video. Definitely go ahead and subscribe to Taylor L. Jazz Vlogs for more story times, hotel reviews, and travel vlogs. Last but not least, make sure you go ahead and follow Taylor L. Jazz on Instagram for more funny, satirical content. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taylor L. Jazz, and you're watching EBN Speaks.